Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. Now let's see if we can punch our dad in the face. Ow, freaking gravity thing. Gotcha. Ah! Vegeta just punched us. <coughs> in the voice. Ow! You didn't say you'd hit back. Yeah, I did explain why saying why Saiyans uh, hit their kids in the previous episode. It's to make them stronger, and because they're Saiyans, they're naturally built to fight. So they're not going to be hurt all that bad. It's not just senseless violence, it's violence for a reason. You never- I never said I wouldn't hit you, now did I? Yeah, in the anime it's a little bit more clear, but, um, Trunks is, uh, attacking his father, and, uh, just as- he's been fighting for so long, just as a natural reaction, he, uh, just punches Trunks right in the face. Trunks wasn't expecting this, but- and neither was Vegeta. He looks surprised and horrified when he actually hits his son. But Trunks is a, is a Saiyan, so he actually isn't hurt all that bad. Also, he prom in the in the anime. He promises that he will take Trunks to the park for an hour if he if he can uh, hit him. He just allows him to go to the world tournament anyways. But in the game, it says he says he'll go to the world tournament. They do take a lot of dialogue from the the anime, which is both lazy and great. It's it's the best way to get away with laziness. <coughs> Anyways, no, but dry your tears. We're going to the park now. Somehow Vegeta can just make that sound threatening. <laughs> We're going to the park. We're going for ice cream, motherfucker. Just. You can make anything sound threatening, Vegeta. Alright, so we are going to the park now. And apparently Trunks can just walk fast at normal speed, I know even though they're still under 150 times gravity. Okay, here we are in West City, and this park sucks. Here we are, Trunks. Just as I promised, but don't have too much fun. Great dad telling your kid not to have too much fun. If you're really serious about entering the World Tournament, I'd do some training if I were you. What is he gonna do? Beat the crap out of the other kids? That, that might fly on Vegeta, but not here. Also, if you were confused, Vegeta was the name of the Saiyan home planet. Uh, this Vegeta was actually named after the planet, so uh, I'm not talking about him. Well, technically he was named after the king who was named after the planet. So there's King Vegeta, Prince Vegeta, this guy is Prince Vegeta, and Planet Vegeta. I'm sure there's also some other Vegetas, but they're really not gone into just random Saiyans named Vegeta. There might just be common names. Alright. Yes, sir. Very well. Understand me well, boy. Just because you can become a Super Saiyan, it doesn't mean you know it all. Here's how they stuff a little bit of tutorial in here. For example, I bet you knew that this was a Capsule Corp safe circle for saving your progress, but you know you... You didn't know you can change. You <coughs> stupid Vegeta voice. You can use safe circles to change your character. All right, now you have fun and play, but don't forget what I told you. All right, journal entry: train for the world tournament. Meet Bulma at Capsule Corp when you're finished. All right, so uh, we can save here, but we can also uh, change characters. So we could be Gohan right now if we wanted to. He still got some Super Saiyan left. Uh, but I'm going to switch back to Trunks. Alright. Now I bet might as well um, power down Gohan. Yeah, one of the cool things, one of the cool little details about this game is um, if you're Super Saiyan and you switch your characters, then they'll remain as Super Saiyan until you switch back and uh, just power down. It's really neat. Go see your mother when you're ready to go to the World Tournament. Yes. Uh, we are supposed to do a little bit of training, but actually tr uh, Trunks is strong enough now. Like, we're supposed to go off the off the um, world map and go somewhere for training. But Trunks is strong enough now that the world tournament's not going to be a problem. So, let's just move on to Capital Corporation. We need to talk to Bulma, who is Trunks' mother. Like, in the tutorial it says go talk to Bulma so we know who Bulma is, because it doesn't actually say in the game that Bulma is Trunks' mother. It says in the previous game 
but it doesn't not say in this game. So for continuity, they need to show you that this is who Bulma is. I never scanned Vegeta. I should probably do that. Then trunks while I'm at it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Vegeta. Vegeta is the prince of planet Vegeta before it was destroyed by Frieza. Although he was once a villain, he usually fights for the Z Fighters now. See, he was on planet Vegeta. Um, apparently he has zero strength, power, and endurance, but 335 hit points. I guess that's because he was only used for the cutscene before. Alright, now I'm going to scan Trunks. Trunks is the so son of Vegeta and Bulma. Despite his young age, he's one of the most powerful fighters in the universe. This is true. Yeah, Trunks is about eight years old, because he was born one year before Goten, who was seven. And Goten was born, like, right after the Cell Saga ended. Alright, so let's talk to Bulma. Are you ready to go to the World Tournament? Yes, I am. Okay, let's get going. We don't want to be late to see Goku. Oh, that's right. Yes, I like I like this touch. Bulma actually uses a capsule because she is the she is the um well I'm not gonna say president of Capsule Corp. She is the sole heir to Capsule Corp. Anyways, although she is a scientist as well, so she's kind of mainly in there. Anyways, I've ridden these sl I've ridden slugs fast in this vehicle. Vegeta's ridden slugs. How do you even ride a slug? Are there giant slugs on planet Vegeta or something? Tell me, Vegeta, how do you, how, how, when have you ride as a slug? When have you ridden a slug, honestly? Apparently, apparently, Vegeta, in his spare time, enters in the annual slug rodeo. Whatever. Oh, be quiet, Vegeta, you and your slug rodeo. <laughs> Say, Vegeta, and... <laughs> I'm sorry that the idea of slug rodeo was just so ridiculously hilarious. I can't not laugh. <laughs> slug rodeo. Okay, I'm sorry. I try not to laugh at my own jokes, but that one just slipped out. All right. Say Vegeta, and this goes for Goten and Trunks as well. I think we should go. I'll agree not to go Super Saiyan at the tournament. What for? It's a good idea. This way, no one will recognize you guys from the Cell games. If they did, the journalists would get all, all your names off the entry forms, and we'd be on TV cameras all over, over our front lawn. I don't see the problem. When a journalist comes, we'll just destroy them. Um, Vegeta? Okay, first the slug rodeo, and now your answer to paparazzi is murder. I guess if you blow up a few journalists, you're not going to get any more paparazzi. Hey, you want to go film ca Capsule Corp? Um, no, that guy blew up half the guys that le that tried to film Capsule Corp last time. I'm going to go try and, and film the Sons. Son is actually Goku's last name. Although it's not really gone into in the English version, but in the Japanese version, he's called Son Goku a lot. They have their last names first. Anyways. I'm serious, Vegeta. It could be a big problem. Fine, it's settled. There'll be no Super Saiyan transformations in the battles. I'll still have the advantage. That's good news for me. Maybe this way I'll stand a chance. Fighting a Super Saiyan is like fighting a steamroller with your hands tied. Krillin, you may look cooler now that you have hair. I really do like Krillin's, um, like, hair design. Well, his character design with hair. He does not look like Krillin anymore, but at heart, he is still Krillin and thus he is still hated. Hey guys, we're here! And he will still have that same voice. I do like Piccolo's sprite even though he's not a playable character. What an interesting for him to be. So here we are, Goku! Remember what I told you! Thanks, Baba. See you later! Hey guys, I'm back! Dad, it's you! Wow, you guys changed a lot in seven years. Gohan, you're a giant! I don't believe it! Goku, it's really you! Hey Krillin, love the hair! Oh sweetheart, I've missed you so much! I've missed you too, Chi Chi. And who's this little guy? He looks like a little me! I'm Goten! Hi, I'm Goku! 
Daddy! Ah, oh, such a sweet moment. Sorry to interrupt, but we should move on to the registration area before it closes. Alright, we're still playing as Trunks. So, uh, there's nothing really over here. There's a little Capsule Corp thing where we can save. World map, if you want to go up and do some last minute training. We can't go back into the ship. Uh, if we come up here, there's some concession stands. Here's uh, some drinks if we need to, like, restore our energy. Or restore our cheese meter. <laughs> Here's food if we want to uh, restore our health. I think I'll get a, f a few uh, chicken legs. Alright. Just um, just for good measure. And here's gifts. This is where we can buy some armor. Uh, a lot of it has required level a lot higher than we actually have. Huh. I could actually uh, use the lucky charm. Although that just makes your enemies give you more drops. There's really no drops in the tournament. Um, oh, we can buy some Hercule exhibits, but they're pretty damn expensive. So, just keep that in mind. Hercule, there's two Hercule exhibits for sale at the tournament. So let's talk to some people. I don't know why Yamcha won't compete. I'm sure he would do fine. Yamcha's a Dragon Ball character. He has no, he has no place in Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I'm not competing in the world tournament. I would just embarrass myself. See, he even knows that. That's why he's not entering. I forgot how funny you guys were together. You crack me up. Oh, Ox King, why don't you do anything anymore? I'm sick of having to live with Roshi. That's why I, I want this prize money. Then we can get an apartment, or maybe even a house. Yeah, apparently Krillin and 18, who are now married, yeah, go figure, um, are living in uh, with Master Roshi, and Ox King, get out of the way. I don't know about this. With all these Saiyans and Piccolo fighting in the tournament, I don't have a chance. Oh, this... Ooh, this is a nice character. I need to explain her a little bit. I'm going to... I'm going to cheer real loud for Mom and Dad. This is... Malin, I think her name is? Wait, I can start just scanning people. Yes. Marin. Marin is the daughter of Krillin and Android 18. That's right. Android 18, apparently... She, uh, what happened, she's not a true android. What happened was, uh, Dro found a woman and just gutted her and then put in android parts to make her super strong. Although, because she and Krillin were able to have a child, that means she still technically has a human uterus. So, therefore, since she has at least one human cell, let alone a whole damn uterus, who, and who knows what other organ she has... Uh, she is technically a cyborg and not an android. Androids are robots meant to look like humans. Cyborgs are human and robot hybrids. Alright, so let's scan the Ox King. The Ox King is the father of Chi Chi. That's pretty much all you need to know with him in Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball, he has a little bit more significance, but not really. Krillin is, the, is an old friend of Goku's. They train together under Master Roshi. He's married to Android 18. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about Krillin. Yeah, I kind of do like the shortened down little um, thingies here. Alright, so let's talk to these people. It's great that Goku's back. Everyone seems so happy to be together. Yes, Goku being back is nice. He's here for a whole 24 hours. Is Gohan seriously going to wear that ridiculous outfit in the tournament? Oh yeah, he's still dressed like the Great Saiyan Man. Oh wait, the Great Saiyan Man! I guess I'll flub up a few times. Alright. I can't wait to compete in the tournament. This is great. It feels so great to be back to Earth. <laughs> but I'm hungry. Well, there's a food booth back over there. Isn't this wonderful? Our family is back together again. Aw, uh, but only for one day, Chi-Chi. This is my chance to beat Kakarot once and for all. Yes, uh, since... Since in Season 1... Was it 1 or Season 2? I think it was Season 2. Uh, in Season 2 of Dragon Ball Z, Goku actually uh, beat Vegeta. And Vegeta has a vendetta against him ever since. So, that's a long-running thing. Vegeta wants to prove that he's stronger than Goku. But Goku usually ends up being stronger. 
Good luck, you guys. This is just like old times. I have no idea what that voice was. Yes, that's Oolong. He's not important. And here's Gohan over here. I can't believe I got blackmailed to entering this tournament. That's right, Vidal blackmailed him. Um, I already scanned Gohan, so let's scan some people over here. Alright, Piccolo. Once an evil villain, Piccolo has seen the error of his ways and now is one of Earth's greatest heroes. Piccolo is an alien from the planet Namek. Alright. Vegito is once the blah blah blah. We've read this, but are you seeing a pattern? Every freaking saga, even like the first episode of Dragon Ball Z, they take the villain from the previous one and then they go fight a bigger power. Like first it was Piccolo that was the villain, and then they took him to fight the Saiyans. Then when they went to fight Frieza, they took Vegeta, and then when they went to fight uh, the, then when um. They don't really take anything from the Frieza saga. Then they fought the the androids, and then they took 18 to fight Cell. Well, technically, Cell had, had absorbed 18 the entire fight, but she became a Z fighter afterwards. And well, in this one we will see. This one's kind of weird, actually. Wait, why have I not done that? All right, uh, Goten. Goten is the son of Goku and Chi Chi. Despite his young age, he's one of the most powerful fighters in the universe. Um, Master Roshi is the most power, is a master of martial arts who trained Goku and Krillin. He's also known as a turtle hermit. Oh, we haven't talked to him yet. Because we couldn't see him behind his damn tree. I have a feeling that this is not going to be your typical tournament. There's nothing near the voice I was trying to do. Okay, Goku. Goku is a Saiyan from the planet Vegeta that was stranded on Earth. He is an all around good guy who often saves the Earth. Alright, let's see if we can't. Uh, scan Chi Chi. Oh, fine. Oolong is a friend of the Z Fires. He is he has the power to shape shift, even though he never does it. At least not in here, not in Z. I don't think he shape shifts once in Z. No, oh, no. I want to, I want to scan Chi Chi. Oh. Okay, yeah. Now she stepped out a little bit. Maybe I can clip her. Come on, Chi Chi. Why can't I scan? There we go. There we go. Alright, Chi Chi is Goku's wife and Go Gohan and Goten's mother. She is the daughter of the Ox King. Alright. And I'm pretty sure that these guys will just have human profiles. Or oh monk. One of the monks in charge of the world of running the world uh, tournaments. And she is just a human. The Capsule Corporation has no information on this person. Alright. So now everybody's been talked to and stuff. We will enter the world tournament in the next episode. This... Um... <laughs> I need a place to do my... Wait, did I... Um... I didn't scan Yamcha or Poir. I'm sorry, this episode's going long. Poir is a shape-shifting cat that is a constant companion of Yamcha. Yamcha is once known as the, the deadly desert bandit of... Uh, Diablo Desert. He's now one of the good guys. See, they were even doing that back in Dragon Ball. Yamcha was a bad guy who has become a good guy. It's a freaking thing. Also, Oolong was also a bad guy who became a good guy. Now that I think about it. This has been... They've been doing this for that since day one. I don't think Krillin was even all that nice when Goku first met him anyways. Um... Oh, wait, no. He was originally, um... Master Roshi's like pupil um well I guess this will have to do for a sync test hmm alright um well sorry for th this episode being so long but uh this is me Thrasho2 saying be cool save often and don't do anything I wouldn't <laughs>